What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and welcome to Black Ops Cold War one year later. I actually reinstalled the game. I've got it back on my PC. It's taking up like a quarter of a terabyte. It makes me sad, but there's a reason we're doing it, and I'll tell you later. Because right now, at this very moment, I need you to drop a like. Let's see if you can break 10,000 likes on this video. If you guys want to see some more OG Call of Duty stuff, not Cold War. This is not old school, not throwback Call of Duty today, but it is a year old. And there's a couple reasons I actually wanted to re-download this pile of shit and play it again. Which I'll get to in a sec. My controller's not working. My controller is so broken. I still try to use it anyway. So yeah, there's a couple reasons I'm on Cold War today. The first is to see if the game is still sweaty because part of the Call of Duty cycle is that whenever a brand new game comes out, usually the previous game the year before becomes a lot more casual. It's more laid back because people don't really care. All the people who are sweating and tryharding are always playing the current Call of Duty game. It's just how it is. I'm not hating on Vanguard or hating on the Vanguard players who play the game every single day, but that's usually what happens. It's almost always been the case in the past for Call of Duty. It doesn't matter which COD game it is. And I I might have been so off because look at the levels in here. Jesus Christ. How can you make your name big silly, but you're level 1000? There's nothing silly about that. That's terrifying. It's on you, Von, too. No, there's no way it's a skill-based matchmaking thing because this game's been uninstalled off of my PC for months now. I have not touched it. I have not played any games before recording now. So yeah, that's one reason I'm on Cold War today, but I'm on it for another. I saw that this game apparently had a nine gig update across all platforms, and there's apparently a secret update coming out soon. Kind of similar to what happened when Cold War was out and Modern Warfare was the previous game. There's some new content that was added to Modern Warfare later on. They threw in some new guns and stuff like that. I think maybe a map too. I don't know. And Treyarch is kind of doing a similar thing with Cold War. There's going to be a new gun, new operator, and two maps coming back. I think Jungle and WMD are coming back. I am excited to try that pish. That's probably the... The little shotgun? No, the papish. I do not know. This team is so confused because he wants to use the PPSH, but he's called it the papish. Papushka! Russian SMG! But yeah, I don't know exactly when Cold War is going to be getting this little hidden update. It's probably around Vanguard Season 2. So yeah, I figured I'd re-download Cold War so that way whenever this update does come out, I'll be able to play it, be able to check it out. Although, <laughs> it's not like I care that much, but at least it's something new and it's not Vanguard related. So there you go. Is the Marshall still crap? Looks like it. I've got my wacky LC-10 here on this little shark. Oh boy, the Vex Mythic class. Woo! Yay! This is the best COD ever. Mother. Woo! They yoinked it! They're all in the corner. Are you kidding me? Wow. They don't know I'm here! These spawns are hilariously bad. What is this game? <gasps> we are Dude! Oh, that was a nasty kill chain. When you actually get to break through and get into their spawn, this map is ridiculously bad. Spawns are next level broken. But speaking of secret updates in Cold War, I've got a couple of secrets up my sleeve that I'm gonna sort of hint at now. First one being that I actually kind of uploaded a secret video to YouTube. It's nothing crazy. It was just a little test I was doing. I did recently upload my near complete run of going to catch Arceus in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check out that video. But I also put together like a quick little rage compilation and I turned it into a YouTube short and I uploaded it to this channel, but I didn't actually actually publish it to subscriber feeds. I wanted to see how it would do in YouTube shorts without it actually going to the sub boxes so it doesn't have to like bother anyone. But I'll also have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out too. Or you can find it on the channel page, whatever's easier. Just a casual little experiment to see how it would go. You know, as far as it goes for being a Call of Duty YouTuber, you know, it's really difficult to actually grow. It's been the case for a pretty long time. I don't know if people are just like tired of multiplayer Call of Duty. Warzone seems to do well for people, but I mean, I don't really care to play Warzone. So yeah, not gonna force myself to play Warzone just to grow the channel. Might be shooting myself in the left lurker toe a little bit there, but I mean, I don't care. I want to do what I want to do. And if you guys are enjoying the videos too, then that's perfect. That's dope. I like it. Speaking of Cold War, when the Marshall 16 came out in this game, that's like my most viewed YouTube short. It has almost 3 million views. We gained thousands and thousands of new subscribers from that. So thank you guys so much for all the support on that. But still, when it comes to YouTube shorts and stuff like that, it's totally random. Like you have no idea if it's just going to do like average or if it's going to blow up. It's the TikTok side of YouTube. Still pretty neat though. Ooh, I killed broccoli yogurt. Who the f*** eats broccoli yogurt? Yo, broccoli yogurt's got the most disgusting mic! Five on. I didn't realize this would get me closer to the PTRS. Dude, I only have like a certain amount of days. When does Vanguard Season 2 start? Can I see the battle pass? Can I see it? I don't want to buy it. Oh, there's only four days left. Dude, I've got to get this done. I almost completely forgot that Vanguard Season 2 is going to be a thing. I kind of glanced over the roadmap. I mean, maybe they'll have something neat for Valentine's Day for multiplayer, but I think zombies might be where it's at. As long as it's a round-based map and it's decent, then it should be pretty okay. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, oh, I can't even remember the last time I launched Vanguard. <laughs> also, I'm going to be keeping the second little secret under wraps, but I will mention that I'm going to be getting a new guitar, hopefully. Not going to say what it is because it's not fully confirmed yet. I'm still waiting for the order to process. But if everything goes well, there's going to be a pretty rad new guitar added to the 
collection. As far as it goes for guitar collecting, it had actually been quite a bit since I like actually found anything that I really wanted to get. Every so often I do get asked like, am I going to do an updated guitar collection video? And I actually recorded one before moving, but since I'm a terrible person, I didn't finish the video. Like I didn't actually do anything with it. I don't think so. Dude, I'm on a 16, but there's only two other people to distract. Oh, they're all coming for me. Oh, this is evil. Oh, I almost had the Nukenstein. I had what, 19 kills? That's not bad. But yeah, pretty much as soon as that guitar comes in, I want to do a video on it. I think I might just feature it both on here and also on the music channel as well. So yeah, 12v12 hardcore hardpoint on this map. That'll be insane. Can you actually play these arcade games? Let's play Spider Fighter. Why not? How do you play this? What? Oh, it's X to fire. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is better than Cold War. This is actually kind of neat how you can do this while you're waiting for the game to take forever to start. Oh, shit. I only got three left. These guys are crafty. Ooh, there we go. Extra life. Just spawn trap them. This game's easy. Look at that. Bonus 500. Woo! Fuck! I'm sick at this game. Shit! There we go. I love how you just constantly get extra lives. I mean, how can you even lose? That's how. So, ah, oh, this one's faster. He's a little piece of shit. Mother I've only got one life left. Oh, don't lose. I want to hit Prestige Master on this game. This is the superior Call of Duty experience. I mean, I don't... we're still waiting for six people. Shit, I got distracted. Oh, there's so many. Uh, am I out or do we have one more? Uh, okay, we have one more. There we go. We're on the pizza difficulty now. How can you even call yourself a real con player if you're not playing this? Sure, you got DM Ultra, you got to level 1000 Prestige Master, but did you get 10,000 score in Spider Fighter? Oh, we're on banana difficulty now. Look how fast, oh my. Yo, this is getting intense. Ooh. We're actually still waiting for more people. This is so pathetic. Uh, banana difficulty is where it gets too hard, honestly. I, I, just this one guy. It's the one dude. I'm dead. I lost. <laughs> Karina's is getting ash high right now. He's going crazy. <laughs> All right. Looks like this is finally starting after a year. Welcome to Black Ops Cold War. Two years later, the lobby finally started. What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> Let's get our proper inspection off before the game starts. Oh, in 4K, that is something. That is an experience right there. You know, I don't know what it is, but Cold War has actually not been too bad. I hate that I'm saying that. Like, why does this happen every single year with Call of Duty? They really have this formula somewhat down to a science. Cold War is the main game. No one likes playing it. It's a year old. Oh, it's suddenly better. But at the same time, not really. I mean, it's the same game. There's nothing that different about Cold War, except maybe it is a little bit less sweaty. But that's it. I mean, it's the same game. Let's get some gun game reactions. That's possible. It's a funny thing with Black Ops Cold War. Like, after I made the RIP Black Ops Cold War video, they were actually so many people in the comments that were like rip black ops cold war have you seen vanguard buddy i do not think cold war is dead now I don't even know what guns I had. Even though not as many people are playing and watching Vanguard, you know, I will say one thing. Vanguard, Cold War, and Modern Warfare are all basically the same game at the end of the day. I kind of just look at the three games differently now. You basically have Modern Warfare 2019, and then you've got the Cold War DLC, and then you've got the Vanguard expansion pack. They're all basically the same game. The game that actually had the innovation and the changes and was better than a lot of the recent Call of Duty games was Modern Warfare. Cold War and Vanguard are just replicating that same success, those same ideas. We'll use Gun Game as an example. Like, Cold War Gun Game hasn't done anything better than when it was first out in Black Ops 1. To be fair, I don't think anything will ever top Black Ops 1's Gun Game. You had to wager up COD points, there was forced game chat, it just led to hilarious reactions. If you wanted to run around knifing people, you could because it was pretty straightforward. You had the default knife. You didn't have to punch people, you didn't have to use the butt of the gun to demote people. It was a lot more straightforward. It was a lot better. Um. Oh, wait, that's it. Oh, there we go. 23 to 7. That wasn't bad. But the whole point is that every single time they bring back gun game into a Call of Duty game, they don't really improve it or make it any better. If anything, it's actually just gotten worse. It's less social. There's less funny reactions and rage and stuff like that. It's more difficult to have counterplay when gun game doesn't have the default combat knife or even attack knife in the game. So yeah, gun game in Cold War's doo-doo. It's been pretty doo-doo flakes in a lot of the recent Call of Duty games as well. And yeah, that just sucks. I mean, I've talked about this so many times before in the past, maybe not as much recently, but doing gun game reactions in Call of Duty was so much fun and I'd love to bring 
bring it back. Vanguard would actually be a pretty good game because it has been more social, but it needs to have those other elements as well. It has to be pretty decent to knife in. I don't think they would do force game chat, but the other element that's missing as well is the fact that it was wager matches in Black Ops 1, and you had to give up your hard-earned COD points in order to try to wager them and get more. And that's what led to people getting so fucking pissed. That's why you would get such great reactions, because people did not want to lose their COD points. Especially in High Roller, where you had to give up 10,000. And if the whole lobby was doing the double down feature, then you would be wagering 20,000. That truly was the absolute best. And unless we get Black Ops 1 remastered and they have that exact same system, then it's probably never gonna happen again. Oh, uh, we got Glubus. Gluba Chaka. Gluba 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 Chaka. Gluba 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 Chaka. Gluba 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 Cold War's my favorite card. Wow, there's the Street Sweeper glitch again. Hey, Trailer, are you ever gonna wake up and fix it? I actually forgot about the Street Sweeper glitch for a second, but now that I'm reminded, it's reminded me of why I don't like this game. That unwillingness to fix something that's just so stupid just to appease the peanut brains. And I'm trying to use the Marshall pistol against it as a counter. Like, what the f***? Look at the play styles. I, I hate to say it, but like, no matter what they do, it doesn't matter what the COD game is. People are broken. They're just broken. <laughs> Who failed you in your life to make you play that way? Father, when can I be on my own? I want to play like a douche in Call of Duty. Look at that! What is that creature? How did he contort his body to be able to fit there? <laughs> I'm gonna do it back. I've only got the Gallo to be able to do it with. I don't have the Street Sweeper on a class. I can go full sprint to shoot a shotgun without any delay! Cold War's the most fun and balanced game! Yeah, I don't regret anything I said in Rip Black Ops Cold War. I don't even care if Vanguard is not better than it. The point still stands. This is a nutsack tier Call of Duty game. I will, however, be on here to goof around on Jungle and WMD, whatever new gun's out. What what is the name of the gun? Oh, it was like the cave on 20. <laughs> I don't know what the hell the name of the gun was I don't know if the tweets that were leaking it got deleted or anything, but I couldn't find them But oh my gosh, I can't wait for Cold War year two You can't fundamentally fix this game with DLC. It's just not gonna happen. And with that I am done playing this game Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play Black Ops Cold War a year later Right now Cold War is literally the same game as it was a year ago It's gonna have some DLC coming up. The game is slightly more casual, but yeah, I've got nothing else to say It's just average. It's not completely terrible, but it's not great either It just puts it right in the middle just like Black Ops 4 Just another Call of Duty game to eventually be forgotten about because it didn't do anything special God, that's such a depressing ending. I'm so sorry But with all that being said, I still hope you guys managed to enjoy this video if you guys did and you're excited for the cold war dlc coming up make sure to drop a like we'll see you guys later we are taking the lead a bomb's been planted on our ammo supply a bomb's been planted on our ammo supply